why was it important for Extinction Rebellion to be outside of the Royal Courts of Justice here in London today? The way I see it, the only way we're going to persuade the corporate world to start thinking about the bigger picture beyond the profits of shareholders is by introducing a duty in law to think about the way in which they're acting on the environment and to create an offensive ecocide. Otherwise, it's just going to carry on as it is. And if we carry on as we are, we are in serious, serious trouble. 2050 condemns our children to death. And that is why we need governments to act now. No. That is why we are here today. That is why no. we are continuing to rebel. No. Extinction! 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 Subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs. must come and interview you. So good afternoon. What's your name? Good afternoon. My name's Sarah. So, we've got so Sarah, you're down here in front of the Royal Court of Justice with yep. Extinction Rebellion. Yep. Why are you here? I'm here because I care about the environment. I care about the future. I care about ecology. And I think that us as humans really have a responsibility now to change things around from what we've trashed. So tell me, why was it important for you to be here today? Um, I've been to the uh, other Extinction Rebellion causes so far, the last one in London. We've got to keep the pressure on. I'm here for my kids, mostly. I'm here for my grandchildren. That's what counts. We're right on the edge of a cliff face. We don't do something now. This is the end. But you're enjoying yourself. I'm enjoying myself because we need to have fun with these things. It's not a somber thing. We need to be lifted up. We all need to stand up together and make a difference. So we're here to support Extinction Rebellion and uh, try and uh, ensure the future is uh, a good one for the next generation. But are you worried about the future for the youngsters? Absolutely, yeah. Um, like all the signs point to very, very large problems that are happening now and only going to get worse. So we need real action. Uh, to try and prevent it getting uh, as bad as it might do. So why are you here? To bring awareness of our planet. And why is that so important? This is a home. We need a home. Spirits of this planet, we honour you. We honour our ancestors the ancestors of our blood, the rivers that flow through our own bodies, what we do to the earth, we do to ourselves. We honour the ancestors of this place, this city that grew from the clay of the, the banks of the River Thames, the London brick, and the, and the waft and daub of the, the first settlers came here for this water source for the springs and the rivers that flow into the Great Thames. Known as Caer Lud, the city. King Lud's favourite port. This port of London, we're never far away from those natural rhythms. The tides, the rhythms of nature. And in a steady flow, we want you to come to the front and announce where your water has come from and pour it into this shell bowl. And after every water has been announced, we say welcome after every water. 
Okay, you ready? So, flowing this way. Chalice Twirl and Glastonbury. Welcome. Everyone say welcome after each quarter. Dustin. Welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Tell me about this beautiful piece of art I can see in front of you. So I'm, uh, I'm just uh, referencing my surroundings there, showing what's happening today. How long has it taken you to do the think about the design and get it down on paper and start to paint? Yeah, it was relatively natural, to be honest. Because, uh, Art is what I'm always like interested in, so just, just what I'm surrounded by this. Tell me about the inspiration you've got from being in front of the Royal Courts of Justice at this Extinction Rebellion protest. Uh, it's nice to see London like in such a, an energetic way with everybody coming together. Subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs.